Hello. I came uh, upon a book, well, actually my brother uh, got it for my birthday. It's uh, called uh, The Book of Genesis, illustrated by R. Crumb. Um, I don't know if you know who R. Crumb is, but uh, he was um underground comic book writer back in the late 60s, early 70s, and um, uh, I was introduced to him in around the early 70s when I came upon these uh, Zap magazines and other underground magazines like uh, Slow Death and stuff that my uncle had in his closet. And Well, all I can say is I didn't find them boring, you know, kind of science fiction and weird and stuff. And, um, um, I always found the uh, Art Crumb's art, as I said, not boring. <laughs> but, uh, it was also very depressing and gross and things, you know, and uh, but I think he made up for it with, uh, this book. He, even though he's an atheist and was probably making fun of it, um, came out with, a, um, something that, um, I think you can learn a lot from the Bible. I mean, you can learn about the Bible and stuff, you know, and it, um, I'll, I'll, I took some pictures of it and I'll show them to you here. But um, this is this is an example of uh, our crumbs kind of work, you know, as a way of uh, fleshing out his people. Um, um, girls are full figured and stuff, you know. Here he is, uh, Satan is kind of like this alien thing, you know. And, um, but what he did, he he actually went through all of Genesis and, uh, illustrated it. Um, has, um, uh, Cain and Abel, uh, talks about how, uh, Cain's sacrifice of, uh, vegetables was rejected for uh, the lamb sacrifice of uh, Abel, which to me was uh, symbolic of um, Christianity, or foreshadowing of Christianity, and uh, it's right there. And he talks about uh, the Nephilim and their making off with the women, humans that they liked and stuff, and creating a race of uh, creatures and the flood. That's not a very good show. Um, talks about the Sodom and Gomorrah and Lot and his daughters and stuff. Uh, the 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 men of um, Lot, as you can see, even has the some stuff that they would say. The stuff that they'd say in the Bible, you know. Uh, <clears throat> Lot uh, experimenting by showing how uh, they won't go for the daughters, you know. And then there's the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah and the Plain Cities. And um, one thing I found interesting, uh, it talked about how the earth was rent. Um, uh, it says, and to Eber the two sons were born. The name of one was Peleg. For in his days, the earth was splitting apart. And I always thought that, my theory is that, uh, as a Christian, that the earth was a split um, during um, the Tower of Babel. You know, there's a better picture of it. And that's why what happened to the Tower of Babel now, because when it was split, it caused such an earthquake that the Tower of Babel crumbled. That's, as, the, as the continents went quickly into the directions we have them now, and then there's uh, 
talk about Methuselah, how long he lived. Um, I did my own calculations and found out that uh, Methuselah probably would have kept on living, but he didn't make the flood. He actually, if you do the calculations right, you find out that Methuselah didn't make it onto the ark. And that uh, you can do that here with the stuff that he's put out here, that Crumb has done. Talks about Enoch being taken away by God. Shows, you know. And then there's uh, Joseph. The story about Joseph. And, um, and what he went in through in Egypt. And then Joseph's brothers bowing to him. So uh, Joseph's prophecy came true. But anyway, you know something? Um, Crumb, I'm pretty sure, wanted to have, you know, make fun of Genesis and stuff like that. But, like, uh, the thing in Genesis, I even wrote about it here, you know. It says, While you meant it for, meant evil toward me, God meant it for good. And then it says, So as to bring about at this time for the keeping of a lot of my people and um... i think i really think that this is the best thing that nerdy <laughs> sleazy crumb has ever done you know this to me is his masterpiece and you know it's sexual i took i didn't have all the sexual stuff in there you know but uh... i would recommend this book i'm a christian and i would recommend this book by um, are crumb. Um, I know, as I said, the non-believer, atheist stuff, you know, atheist wrote it, but still, I think he was inspired to do it. I really do. Because, um, you learn. You look at that stuff and you learn. So, really, believe me, take my word for it. I think you won't be disappointed if you check that out.